Okay, happy Halloween. Welcome back. We have a Pokeball to open up today. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know what Pokeball this is. I know what Pokeball it is, but I want to know if you guys know what specific type of Pokeball is this Pokeball. Anyways, happy Halloween. Hope you're having a great day. Whether you're going to a party, whether you're trick-or-treating, whether you're staying in, watching scary movies. What are you doing? Let me know what you're doing. It is Sunday. For me in the UK, it is in the morning. I've got a couple of bits and pieces that I need to do today, so I've got to pop out in a second and go get on with some stuff. But I thought, you know what, before I go, let's open up some Pokemon products. So this morning already, we put together a set. We've also um, opened up a digital Pokemon booster pack, which was great. How do I get this open again? Get a knife. Two seconds. Ah, it's all good. Let's just grip it from the back. So, boom. Tyranitar coin. Unfortunately, inside these, which is quite weird, you don't get a uh, additional code card, but it's fine. So, anyways, we have three booster packs to open up today, and. Um, I did a poll before, and for some reason, people don't like Steam Siege. I don't mind Steam Siege. We've got Sun and Moon Base. Still looking for them gold cards. And Guardian Rising. So, uh, we'll do oldest to newest. So, we'll start off with Steam Siege. So, long years of stability have come to an end with the shiny Gardeva EX Lay Siege to the mighty Gear Palace with a host of greedy forces. The mythical Steam Pokemon Volcanion must wield the dual powers of water and fire to stop them, and the battle rages on. Xerneas Break and Vavetal Break face off in the Pokemon TC TCG XY Steam Siege expansion. There are over 110 cards to collect in this set. If you like Pokemon, make sure you go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and great products. And let's go. Joltix to start this off, 30 health points, electric type Pokemon, one move of attach. Followed up by Burmite, 70 health points, water type Pokemon, two moves, one of ice block, the other of icy snow. Fungus up next, which has an ability of play ball. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put three Pokeball cards from your discard file into your hand. It also has a move of ram, 40 health points, and that is a... Grass type. Mankey up next, 60 health points, which is, of course... A fighting type Pokemon has a move of Focus Energy and Flop. Shellos up next, 70 health points, which of course is a water type Pokemon having a move of Rain Splash. Our pull for today was a Sneasel, 60 health points being a Darkness type Pokemon having a move of Tine Roll. Probo Pass, 120 health points, which is a Fighting type energy type Pokemon with two moves, one of Rock Tomb, the other of Bounce Back. Flaffy up next. What is going on? The world really wants to speak to me today. Flaffy, which is a electric type Pokemon having 90 health points. One move of Ram, the other move of Thundershock. Monferno up next, 80 health points being a fire type Pokemon having a move of Scratch and Flare. And the last card from this pack is Anorith. Having 80 health points being a fighting type Pokemon, which has an ability of Restore Barrier. Each of your restored Pokemon has no weakness. And also one move of X Scissor. So, let's go. Next up we have Sun and Moon, base Sun and Moon. Your adventure in a new region starts now. Welcome to the Tropical Alola region. Start your journey with the Rowlet, Litten and Poplio. Then seek out the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo GX and Lunala GX to witness the awesome power of the new kind of Pokemon each Pokemon GX brings an attack so devastating it can only be used once per game. Discover dozens of never before seen Pokemon, Alola forms of some familiar favourites and all new ways to battle in the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon expansion. As I said previously, if you like Pokemon make sure that you go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. There are 140 cards in this base set. We have, what the, oh my days, K 
Caterpie, 50 health points, which is a grass type Pokemon from Generation 1, has a move of Nap and Gnaw. Sandy Gas, 80 health points, which is a rock type Pokemon, also known as a fighting type, has a move of Shore Up and Sandy Tomb. Rog and Roller, 70 health points, which is a fighting type Pokemon, has a move of Smackdown. Cosmog, 60 health points, Psychic type Pokemon, has a move of Dust Gathering. Formantis, 60 health points, Grass type Pokemon, has a move of Synthesis and Leafage. Synthesis and Leafage. And then Alolan Grimer up next. 80 health points. You guys can see, can't you? I can see. I'm so. I'm, I'm really trying to contain myself right now. Alolan Grimer, 80 health points, which is a psychic type Pokemon, has a move of Super Poison, Breath, and Pound. Wow! We got a gold card! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, guys! Look at this card! Damn, this is beautiful. We have a trainer item switch. Each of your active Pokemon switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. You may play as many item cards as you like during your turn before your attack. 166 out of 149. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go and get a sleeve because I can't bear to see that like that. So I will be back now. Okay. That's better. Wow. Very happy. Very, very happy. Let's finish this off. Steel type energy, trainer support, how two or three cards. Wishy washy, have an ability of cowardice. Once during your turn before your attack, you may discard all cards to this Pokemon and return it to your hand. You can't use this ability during your first turn or on this Pokemon or on the on the turn this Pokemon was put into play. It also has a move of Water Gun, being a water type, having 30 health points of the last card from this pack, being a Lolan Raticate. 120 health points being a darkness type Pokemon, which is just a generation one in a Alolan form, so it just grew up in a different part of the Pokemon world. Uh, Evil Orders and Endeavor are its moves. So yeah, I am very happy now. <laughs> Opened up two boosters and we pulled one gold card. So we still got one booster pack left to open, which is a Guardian Rising. And so far we opened up Steam Siege and we opened up the Sun and Moon base pack, which got us a gold card. The gold cards I'm actually looking for for the Sun and Moon base pack are um, Lunala and Solgaleo. But I'll take any gold cards that are coming my way. So last one for today is a Sun and Moon Guardian Rising booster pack. As I always say, go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. There's 140 cards in this set. Visit Alola for Pokemon fun from the beaches of the mountain peaks and discover new traditions and new challenges. Meet the Island Guardians, Tapu Koko and Tapu Lili, and sharpen your skills with the Kahuna Hala and Captain Mallow. Be amazed by the secret powers of Komodo GX, Lycanroc GX, Met Metagrox GX, Sil Sylveon GX, Togepex GX, Vikavolt GX, and many more. Come to the island and seize the power with the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Guardian Rising Expansion. All right. Another green code card. Also, as well, that Sun and Moon pack was a green code card. So you tell me why that happened. That shouldn't have happened. So sometimes, I guess, it's not always true that the indication of the code card is um, how you know what you're going to get. Anyways, we only got one energy card. If anybody was wondering why we have one energy card, it's because we opened Steam Siege. And inside Steam Siege, you do not get an energy card. Let's start this off. 70 health points. We have Stuffle. Normal type Pokemon having a move of Tackle and Hammer in. Phantom up next, 60 health points, grass type Pokemon having a move of Tackle and Confuse Ray. Haloptile, 60 health points, electric type Pokemon having a move of Thunder Shock. Beldum, 60 health points, which is a steel type Pokemon having a move of Core Beam. Tentacles, 60 health points, water type Pokemon has a move of Sludge Shock. Ooh, Demise, 120 health points. Ste steel Worker is its ability. Your steel Pokemon attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And it also has a move of Anchor Shot being a Psychic type. I was wondering why we've got so many... Every single card, apart from the first card, 
four cards in, we literally had 60 health points for four Pokemon, which I thought was a bit strange. So I was glad that we broke that up. But a Corio 90 health point psychic type Pokemon has a move of Supernatural Dance and Revelation Dance. Then we have a psychic type energy. I'm joking, it's steel. Then we have a trainer item field blower. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play. Yours or your opponents and discard them. Gotharita, 80 health points, which is a psychic type Pokemon having a move of Slap and Psybeam. And the last card from this pack is Symboli with 60 health points being a psychic type Pokemon having a move of Limitations and Scratch. So we're going to do a little bit of a recap for a second here to show you all everything that we got. But I'm not going to lie, that one pack made up for uh, the two other packs. I wouldn't say, wouldn't say they were terrible, but they weren't the greatest, but... Yeah, we um we pulled it out of the bag with that, that one pull. So, in no particular order, we had two energy cards, both being steel type. We had a trainer supporter being Hal. We had a trainer item being field blower. And then we had Okorio, Stuffle, Phantom, Haloptile, Beldum, Tentacle, Wishy Washy, Alolan Rat Cake, Fromantis, Cosmog. Rog and Roller, Sandy Gas, Caterpie, Anna Riff, Monferno, Flaffy, Probass, Shellos, Mankey, Fungus, Burmite, Joltix, Gotharita, and Sibylai. The pulls that we had, we will go from worst to best. So we have these three being Sneasel, Alone and Grimer, and Demise. But what really made up for everything today was this. The trainer item switch from the green and white code card. But was it a green and white code card, you ask me? No, it actually wasn't. All of these code cards are from this tin. So inside of this Pokeball tin, we had three green code cards and I managed to pull this. I don't know. Is it a trick? Is it a treat? All I know is it's a happy Halloween for me. Thank you for watching another episode of GNG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. And I'll see you all in another episode very soon. Keep on smiling.